Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh here with Scrapyard Films. Today I'm going to be showing you another Vega 16 Pro tutorial, and this one's how to add motion blur to your videos. Now the reason you probably want to do this is if you shot in 60 frames a second or something in very high frame rate, but you didn't want it to look that high a frame rate, but that's all your footage shot in, and you wanted to slow it down to something to look more realistic, this is how you're going to do it. It's fairly easy, but it is going to take some computer processing power to do so. So I dragged in a clip of me shot in 60 frames a second, I'm going to show you that. And you can tell it's a very high frame rate. But what I want to do is I want to make it look a little bit more motion blurry. I want to make it look like it was shot in a lower frame rate. So to do that, if you hold Control Shift and the letter B, it brings up a video bus track. And in here you can right click and then insert remove envelopes. And you could add motion blur and along with video super sampling. So first we're going to do motion blur and that's gonna bring up this pink line. We could drag this down to see it a little better. So if we drag up this line, it's going to basically be replicating the frames before and after. You can see I become more blurry. I mean, you don't wanna do this one too high. Look how it looks with it all high. And you can see it's lagging my computer big time. So I'm gonna change this down to preview quarter so we can see it a little bit better. But yeah. It definitely added some blur, that's for sure. But that doesn't look good. So let's drag this down to about maybe just one. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, that looks normal. That looks like it was shot in lower frame rate already. But you could tell that it's just a bit framey. It's not necessarily blurring in, it's just multiplying the frames. So to smooth that out, if you right click, insert envelope, and do super sampling, this orange bar appears and this is kind of the blurring bar. It multiplies your motion blur length and blurs it out that way. So super sampling is what you need to make it look even better. So let's see, if we drag this up. Let's get me in a more motioned position. So there's me in the middle of moving. So the best number I found for this is right at about four. Anything above that kind of starts looking a little too weird. So that didn't look too bad right there. That's in best half. Now these two bars vary depending on what type of project you're doing. These settings, this at four and this at one or two, isn't gonna be exactly what you need. So play around with it. And I just wanted to inform you guys, just in case you didn't know this existed, you can make higher frame rate things look blurrier. And there you have it. Hey everyone, thanks for watching that video. If that helped you out at all, or if you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that little bell next to the subscribe button so you can be notified when I upload a new video. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.